People are going the extra mile to help those who fled from the war in Ukraine. And tonight is Southern California connection to a major effort assisting refugees. KKL 9's Lori Perez is live in Westminster with more for us. Lori. Yeah, Pat, you know, lots of kids go off to college thinking they are going to change the world. But for one local local student, his name is Marco Burstein. He went to Chadwick School in Palos Verdes and is now at Harvard. That is actually already happening. The images of war and videos of families forced to flee stunned Marco Burstein and his friend Avi Schiffman. And like many of us, the two Harvard students felt compelled to help. And have they ever? Developing the website UkraineTakeShelter.com. Kind of like Airbnb for refugees, people in need of housing enter a city and are immediately connected to hosts. They can add filters like if they have a pet or need special accommodations. No big deal. They built it in three days during finals. Ukraine Take Shelter launched March 2nd and now has more than 19,000 unique listings from all over the world. From Hungary and Romania and Poland to Canada and Australia, we have the website translated into over a dozen languages at this point. How safe is it? We have a detailed guide that we give to all of our refugees to make sure that the host that they're talking to is legitimate, that the person that they're maybe speaking with on the phone is the same person that they're going to be meeting up with in person. We're currently working with aid organizations on the ground uh, in Eastern Europe to get verified listings. All this, mind you, while in school at, you know, Harvard. But Burstein says they have their priorities set and school is very important to me but at the same time this is a very urgent and pressing need and so our main focus right now is making sure that the website is running smoothly and, and helping people and it is for security reasons he says he can't say how many refugees they've matched with hosts but he and Schiffman have heard stories of families they've helped just narrowly escaping attacks he says they both learn to program by watching YouTube videos and what they've done speaks to the power of technology but maybe even more so he says, to the power of people. You can look at what's happening in Ukraine and you can see it as a crisis and something that we should be terrified of. And that's certainly valid. But I think we can also look at how people from every corner of the globe, of every walk of life, have tried to help in this situation. And we see that as a great source of hope and inspiration. It certainly is. He says this is the first uh, global programming that he's done. He has worked on smaller local projects, including he says he built the scheduling algorithm that his high school in Palos Verdes uses to this day. In Westminster, I'm Lori Perez. Back to you. What a smart guy. All right. Thanks so much, Lori. Yeah. Rising.